Um, and the media everywhere is mostly liberal, not just in the US. But in this country, 85% of journalists are registered Democrats. So that's just a fact, right? No one's registering Democrat when they're rarely a Republican. So the facts are on the side of what you just stated. Most journalists are, are left or liberal or Democrat or whatever word you want to give it. How do you know you're being lied to? How do you know you're being manipulated? How do you know there's something not right with the coverage? When they simplify it all, and there's no gray. There's no gray. Mm -hmm. It's all one way. Well, life isn't like that. If it doesn't match real life, it's probably not something's wrong, mm -hmm. right? So, um, for example, you know, all the coverage on Trump all the time is negative. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing, uh, no mitigating policy or event or anything that has happened since he was elected that is out there in the medias that you can read about, right? Well, that tells you that's distortion of the way things go in real life. Because although the media has always been, historically, always been left-leaning, we've abandoned um, our, our pretense or at least the effort to be objective today. The former executive editor of the New York Times has a book coming out, Jill Abramson, and she says we would do, I don't know, dozens of stories about Trump every single day, and every single one of them was negative. She said, we, be, we have become the anti-Trump paper of record. Well, that's not our job. That's a political position. That means we've become political activists, in a sense, and some could argue propagandists, right? Mm -hmm. And there's some merit to that.